Hello everyone, my name is Parag Bal and um, first of all, thank you so much guys you view my all videos and because of giving your comments, I get motivated and I place my all video related with the civil engineering. Hope I always place more videos. So today topic is sound space by using Lee Chattel apparatus. So today we are discussing about why this Lee Chattel apparatus is uh, used for the soundness of the cement okay so first of all it is very important guys to that the cement after setting shall not undergo any appreciable change of the volume okay so certain cement have been found to undergo a large expansion after setting causing disruption of set and hardness mass this will cause serious difficulties obviously for the durability of the structure when the cement is used okay now the testing of soundness of cement is we done to ensure that the cement does not show any appreciable and subsequent expansion is of the prime important this is the one of the very important factor that we are doing this soundness test by using this apparatus okay actually there are some tests for use for the soundness testing but this is one of the first test now uh, <clears throat> unsoundness in the cement is due to the excess of the lime, excess of the magnesia, excessive proportion of the sulfates. Okay, but unsoundness in the cement does not come to surface for a considerable period of time. So therefore, accelerate tests are required to detect it. There are number of such tests in common use. Okay, now if now this is our basic portion about this test and about soundness of the um, soundness of the cement okay uh, i can uh, yes now we are going for the description about this apparatus okay this apparatus consists of a small split cylinder or spring grass brass or other suitable material okay it is 30 mm in diameter and 30 mm high this is one of the dimension here on other side of the split are attached two cylinder arms which are having 165 mm long with a pointed A which is showing as notation with A. Okay. And this distance is from the center from that brass circle. Okay. Cement is gauged with the 0.870 that means 0 0.78, 0 0.78 times of the water required for a standard consistency we are filling this 0.78 percent of water for a standard consistency okay in a standard manner and fill into the mold kept on a glass plate now after that we are placing it on a glass plate okay the mold is covered on the top with another glass plate okay that means we are covered from both the side with a glass plate the whole assembly is immersed in a water at a temperature of 27 degree to 32 degree Celsius and keep there for a 24 hours. Okay, this is one of the basic that means dimension and a procedure. Okay, after that measure the distance between the indication point, indicator point which is shown by A. Okay, submerge the mold again in a water. Heat the water and bring to boiling point in about 25 to 30 minutes and keep it boiling for 3 years. Okay. Now remove the mold from the water. Allow it to cool and measure the distance between the indicator point again. The difference between these two measurements represent the expansion of cement. We are just giving the 20 boiling for 25 to 30 minutes here. Because of the what happened? Because of this, the more uh, actually we are placing 27 degree to 32 degree for 24 hours, and after we are taking reading, but certainly we are hitting 25 to 30 minutes. 30 minutes it goes somewhere high temperature than 32 degree Celsius, obviously, and we are placing it for three years. So time duration is also more. So after that, we are checking the these two readings. After these two readings, okay we remove the mold from the water and we cool it down and measure the distance between the indicator point so the difference between these two measurements represent the expansion of cement 
okay so this is this is we want, we want so this must not exceed than 10 mm for ordinary rapid hardening and low heat portland cement if in case the expansion is more than 10 mm is as tested above the cement is said, said to be unsound so that is exactly the main Uh, procedure to do this the uh, to do to do this um, sound stress by lichtenstein apparatus now the lichtenstein detects the unsounded due to free lime only okay we know the lime what is the behavior of lime in a cement this method of the testing does not indicate the presence and after effect of the excess of magnesia actually indian standard specification stimulate that the cement having the magnesia content of more than 3% shall be tested by soundness by autoclave test or whatever it is okay so this is one of the i can say this is one of the method because of this we can test the expansion that means the soundness of the cement no satisfactory test is available for deduction of the unsoundness due to the excess of calcium sulfate okay but its content can be easily determined by calcium chemical analysis okay for each and every ingredient of the cement sorry concrete okay we can calculate the soundness of the test now actually we are seeing here the for calcium sulfate with the help of um, due to an excess of calcium sulfate we use can chemical analysis so we can get the sound percentage excess percentage of the calcium sulfate okay so these are the all facts with the help of we can determine the Turn it over. So hope you like my all the video and hope you like this video. For more detail for the notes and the PDF file, you can go to my website www.civilnotes double s. Okay, so civilnotes dot com and keep watching, keep learning and keep support me. So thank you guys.